Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program Rise of the Dark Fog. We have just finished our purple cubes recipe and I realized that I made a mistake when... Well, I've probably made many mistakes, but I've made one particular mistake over here when I've put down these factories and these three were actually not working at all. Now... I will have a fairly big issue soon. Namely, I am running out of... I am running out of... Um, what's this called? Refined oil? And the focus for these ones right now is not going to be, um, is no longer going to be to produce hydrogen, but to produce refined fuel. And I want to produce that at full speed. Unfortunately, I don't think that, well, there is another recipe to produce refined fuel out of basically coal. I don't know, I don't think there's any other recipes in the game. Uh, but what I want to do first and foremost, other than correcting that build, is to actually get uh, not an orbital collector. I want to get a an ILS. Can I place it down? I guess this is going to have to do for now. So. You're gonna be remote demanding. And feeding this over here. And I'm gonna reverse the direction of this belt, upgrade it, and for now, I will get none of those things, and I will just find a place to to burn the hydrogen. Hydrogen is also a decent source of fuel. Now that I have it in unlimited supply, it might even be worth uh, considering burning only hydrogen instead of, well, hydrogen and titanium. So that is a decent fuel source, but Yeah, let's see, let's see how many I can squeeze in here. Can I get this one over here? Yes, I can. And that's it for... Uh, that is it for my uh, burners, for my power plants, whatever they're called. Thermal power plants. No, this is overkill. I'm pretty sure that... Um, I'm gonna produce way more, uh, way less than that, but uh, let's get rid of the excess and these ones will only be working now to produce fuel. Now I do want to get rid of producing 
um, acid that's probably going to be the top priority because this is burning one per second whereas plastic is well for plastic we don't have an alternative it is uh, 0.6 per second so it's less production uh, less uh, wastage and sulfuric acid is an infinite resource it's quite annoying to waste something that feels like a very important resource on well i'm actually not gonna do this because if i do this this will I have, I've never actually computed how much I need three per yeah I need three per second so that means that I need one point half of those fully working is it one point no I need three a uh, four point half of these working one two three four and a bit so that's gonna be quite challenging this tell me that this one is still charging now if i reduce that charging rate i'm actually gonna be sufficient now one two three four I'm most likely very low on fuel. I am. So let's take a look at our research tree. Now I put this in well, mostly after this one just for buffer just in case I'm extremely slow. But I do have a pretty well defined set of researches that I want to, to do now that I have access to information matrices. And my core is the first one. The next one is going to be the drive engine. This will allow us to warp. Quite important. We have unlocked our gra um, gravity uh, in is the item that will allow us to actually perform the warp jump. And this one. This will allow our logistic vessels to warp and be able to obviously bring resources back here. Now, after this, there will be a few researches that... Oh, obviously, we need space exploration to know where we're going. So we actually need space exploration before or universe exploration before. Um, I will keep the drive engine regardless because we kind of need both of these. Doesn't really matter which order. And then going back to technologies over here, I do want to get towards gravity matrices because this will allow us to produce the space warpers. That's the word I'm looking for at a decent cost. Uh, basically an eighth of the cost, I, I think. So it's one cube. The cube will need those processors, which are gonna be not extremely easy to make, but still it will allow us to make uh, better use of our graviton things which the graviton things are the expensive ones the really expensive ones so let's go ahead and get this one queued up this will allow us to research quantum chips and finally allow us to uh, research that one so that's our research queue for a very long time we are researching at a very fast pace I'm not sure how we can well I'm fairly sure we won't be able to sustain that but in the meantime uh, we do have an opportunity here
I know I said I wouldn't, but I will keep. This uh, belt yellow for now. I want to. Well, I did stack up quite a bit of conveyor belt. These ones are. These ones are full. These ones are still uh, producing. These ones are gonna produce for quite a while, unfortunately. Um, I don't have any more spaces in there. And. Let's see, I can put this one there. That's too close, that's too close. Oh, there's this one over here as well. Am I using that one? I'm not using that one just yet. I really hope I wasn't meant to use that one for anything. Uh, so, what I want to do now is, I need to do a quick, very hacky build for Graviton Lance, because we need, well, and for uh, these things, we need space warpers to be able to go to a different system, and that's where everything is uh, heading towards right now, the research, the build, everything. So for this one, these are done in an assembler, which is okay. These on the other hand are, oh, well, this, sorry, this is assembler as well. And we need diamonds and those green capsules, which is called strange matter. Now this one is made in a particle collider, which is a new type of building that we haven't used yet. And this will require Hydrogen, iron, and these things, which again we have, we are not mass producing by any means. Mm -hmm. And we will have the same bottleneck on graphene. But uh, we'll just have to manage it, we'll just have to produce this somewhat consciously until we can get a more decent throughput for graphene uh, without totally draining our oil supply. This is the research I've been waiting for to build because uh, again, we have everything here. I will set an import on, again, this is going to be a very small build. So import that, I will import the hydrogen I'm a bit surprised that I'm not getting iron ingots. Oh, there we go. Um, that means that the iron ingot the, uh, setup that we have on the industrial planet is on the lava planet is running dry. And uh, where is it? Strange matter. I will manually import from the one factory that we have, the particle containers. But we need to build a particle collider. And that's a challenge on its own. So particle collider is this one over here, the miniature particle collider. And it is quite an expensive recipe. Uh, sort of, right now, not for the, in the long run. We do need 20 of these things. For this, we actually need carbon nanotubes. And this is the whole reason why I have this thing over here. I also need silicon. Pretty sure I have an abundance of silicon somewhere. Now, is this enough to build it? Unfortunately not. How many of these can I build? 
software you can actually build 10 of those but i am running out of oh there they are they were right under my nose that's why i couldn't see them i'm running out of um titanium alloy titanium alloy as well should be heavily limited because this also requires sulfuric acid and I want to limit the usage of that I don't know probably was an oversight I really hope it was an oversight when I've done that so that should be enough we need to now wait for those things to run their course now oh that's where all the silicon is can i get silicon in here some of it and i'll just use this other bab to store the rest of it so i can remove this one now and i'll have all three sides of this free uh let's see finally we can produce this one it is not the fastest not the slowest build and i'll just need one of them for now because one of the characteristics of these things is that it is expensive af to run so that's one belt i did not set a filter or did i set a filter no no i didn't So, why? Oh, uh, because they are off by just a bit. Really? I really didn't. Oh, come on. Fine, I will do this in a nicer way. I will rotate this. So I need, uh, let's rotate once more. So inputs here. Uh, let's add recipe so we can also make deuterium with this but deuterium is not something that i am immediately interested in we need strange matter uh, yes about that we need strange matter remote demand clear this one out there was a bab that picked all of the excess. I was planning, oh, 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 do not feel that much. Now, I have no idea where that bab is. There it is. Can I, oh, that was nice. I could fit everything in there. So deuterium is coming. Get rid of the last bit of hydrogen that I have there. And we also need the strange things. I will need a belt for, for that. So I think that this should work. 
So you're going to be filtering on particle containers. Uh, inputting over there and there's going to be an output. I think I can squeeze in an output belt over here. Yes, I can. So that's going to be the strange matter. Now for graviton lenses, I also need diamonds. So let's grab a few diamonds. Now I know that it is quite wasteful logistic wise to mine the coal on this planet, take it to the industrial planet and then uh, bring it all the way over here back. And I think I have a few other ILSs that, ILSs that are importing that, but I don't really care. I think that this is good enough. And now, realistically speaking, I won't have more than one factory. working at a time that was the first research done so uh, get me diamonds all the way over here And I want to get straight to Space Warpers. Unfortunately, using the not so great recipe. So for now, these are just used to produce Space Warpers. I won't store any of them. And Last bit over here is uh, I will make space warpers available. Now I just want to get 100 of them. That's going to be, even that is going to be too much. Like this. Uh, why is this belt empty? Right, because I, I cleared the hydrogen, but I never actually set the filter back. And I added the deuterium. Power is somewhat holding, but this is basically draining 12 megawatts when working. And Do I not have any of these? I'm pretty sure this is, this would be considered in range. Yeah, I am using literally every single one of them. can do this. So 
copper is one of the recipes so copper is gonna come in through here top level and bottom level this is copper and this one is right over here let me make a marker first and now make sure that the belt still goes through I will extend I will extend this build as much as I can I think I can squeeze in well just one more factory but that will still be good this will drain every single piece of graphene coming through here but well that should hopefully give me a bit more a bit more throughput uh, let's see where did I do that build oh there it is still nothing two available routes I really hope that well to get things started let's get Oh, no, no, that's why nothing was coming in and these guys just stole, instantly stole all of my particle containers. Uh, they are used for quite a few things and I wouldn't be surprised if my storage here is not full yet. That is quite empty, I would say. If I look at particle containers right now, it is a PLS, ILS, and strange matter, so it's not that bad. Um, another lab full of silicon. I don't think I'm using silicon on this planet anymore. Let's see how our research is progressing. So we have the mega core that should give us a bit of energy boost. Um, drive engine is flowing through quite nicely. Let me see, get this one in. And given that, I should now be able to steal some of these. I won't be able to use them just yet. But, well, let's prepare for what's to come. And what's to come is that, as I've mentioned, in the uh, next episodes the immediate goal is to get myself uh, acid acid is going to be the, the top sulfuric acid that is that's gonna be the top priority now if I manage to get organic crystals that would be really great it's a rare resource but early game this is gonna be quite helpful and if possible, I would also like to get uh, the sugar cubes. I think it's called fire ice. Um, other than that, anything else that I get uh, would be a bonus, but those are the top priorities. 
So what I'm actually going to do now is I will plot down, make sure that these are aligned like this. Yeah. And I want to do two more. All with four. I hope I'm remembering this correctly. If not, I'll just remove some of them. That's not a problem. I tried to upgrade everything to as much as I can. Hope that actually worked. So there's a few buildings that I've never bothered um, putting on the mall and that I should probably do bother. And that is uh, water pump, oil extractor, oil refinery, and um, there's no point in putting this one just yet. There are a couple that I don't have. But the Fractioner is the last one that I want to get. The main one is surprisingly the water pump, I would say. So let's go set these ones up. Water pump, gas filter, provide to Icarus, sure. I'll set the outputs first. Oil extractor, gas filter, provide to Icarus. You're going to be building oil refineries, yes. Okay. Uh, did I set the filter? Yes, I did. And you're going to be doing fractioners, yes. Filters, pots, all good. Now let's set ingredients. Iron, stone, electric motors, and circuit boards. Getting access to the chests here is gonna be a bit tricky. That's iron, that's stone. These are electric motors and this will be circuits. I should have everything in abundance. So that one should be going quite fast. Let's see the next one. Steel stone, circuit boards and plasma exciters. Steel, stone, circuit boards. Where are the circuit boards? Over here and plasma exciters. Well, I hope I have, I should have a backlog build. Plasma exciters are not uh, mass produced yet. Uh, steel stone, this is the same recipe. Let me make sure. This is oil extractor, this is oil refinery. And they have the exact same requirements, different ratios, but the exact same requirements. Steel stone, did I set steel? Yes. I thought I misclicked for a bit, but um, no, all good. And the plasma exciters. Last one is the fractioner. And that's steel, stone, glass and processors. Steel down glass and processors
Let's make sure that everything is working. Okay, um, I think I've overused the stone that I have uh, accumulated. I am producing stone, right? Uh, not as much as I used to. There's five minutes left in this episode and uh, I don't have time to do anything major so light with what? Oh these are in the way. I think I can do it. Yes. Can I squeeze in one like this? Yes, I can. And last one over here. Yes. I'm happy with that. Hmm. This will barely work, yes. Barely being a keyword there. So this is gonna come down the center, connect everything. I shouldn't be really Feeling the difference when uh, disconnecting those things. Um, I am looking for these ones. Now, I know that I can put way more than three, but uh, this will be just enough. For a very long time. Let's get the output lines and I'll just get these to make what I could do is if I get that at the top position First of all, I shouldn't have any issues doing this. Um, what? Why? Why is this not working? That's so weird. I was sure that that would actually work. Now this purple will no longer cover all of my inserters but that's fine uh, oh, I do not want to put two splitters I want to yeah these ones in here so you'll be collecting stone and you're gonna be a distributor Oh, this will work so much better if I actually set the recipes and put power poles to those mines.
This should now be a full belt. I'm assuming that it will take a bit of time to build the buffer, but yeah, it's a full belt. I will add just two, two more. I want to try to mine all of the deposits. So I can add one, one there and another one. Really? Okay, I can output, that's great. So this will obviously not work at full speed and it was never expected to work at full speed, but um, the miners, but. Okay, I now have a few of those. I have quite a few of these now, which is nice. So... This one over here. Why do I not have electric motors inbound? The electric motors are actually entirely dead. Uh, I guess that's something that I will need to fix in the next episode. For now, I have a few of these. Uh, technology is still going the Lack of engines should not block me from producing any of the matrices. And this is working at a decent rate. Not that uh, not all labs are working, but I did put way too many of those. Um, that lane is full. All the other lanes are fairly full, so that's great. And that being said, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you here next time.